Hola, me llamo Carlos y soy español. Yes, I'm a Spanish native speaker. And maybe you're, you're thinking, well, then your experience in learning your mother tongue is not relevant to me because I'm learning Spanish as a second language, as a foreign language, not as a mother tongue. However, I'm convinced that learning a foreign language in a natural way, like anybody learns their own mother tongue, is the best idea. It is the quick, the quickest and the best way to learn a new language. The problem is, how can I reproduce the conditions in which a native speaker learns their language? Well, the answer to this question is much easier today than it used to be a few years ago, before the boom of the Internet. Yes, because in the Internet we can find lots and lots of resources that can help us immerse ourselves in Spanish situations you know, interact with Spanish speakers, etc. So, let's have a look at a few tips that we can take into account if we want to learn Spanish by taking advantage of all those resources that the Internet gives us. And tip number one is be ready to make mistakes. No matter what resources you use, no matter how you learn the language, you will always make mistakes. But mistakes are not bad. Mistakes are good. You learn from your own mistakes. So be ready to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. I used to make mistakes when I was a baby in my own language, and I'm sure you did with your own language. Okay? So mistakes are normal. Mistakes are natural. We'll be ready to make mistakes. Tip number two is listen, listen, and listen. Sometimes, particularly when we are in the first stages of our learning process, we get tired of learning, oh, sorry, of listening, because it is very difficult for us to understand what we're hearing, and we lose patience. But we must be patient. We must listen, and listen, and listen. Even if we don't understand, we must give ourselves the time we need to start understanding. And understanding will come if we are exposed to the sounds of the language in a natural way as long as possible. So take every opportunity to listen to Spanish. You can use the Internet for that. You can watch videos. You can listen to songs in Spanish. Of course, you can use the tape scripts and read at the same time that you're listening to these songs or films or whatever. Uh, there are lots and lots of interactive listening exercises on the Internet. They're free to use and you can use them and you can make exercises or do exercises, uh, activities. Uh, comprehension activities that will give you immediate feedback on your learning process. So be ready to listen a lot. Now, tip number three is interact with native speakers. The internet will give us the opportunity to interact with speakers if we know how to find them. And it's not difficult. Use the, the social networks, particularly Facebook and Google+. Plus. There are groups, there are lots of groups in those two uh, channels, in those two networks, uh, and it will be easy for you to find groups of people that are interested in exchanging uh, conversation lessons. So you can find people who can um, use uh, Skype or Google Hangouts or any other video conference software to um, talk to each other in real time and you can be not only listening but also watching uh, the other person. 
So it's very convenient and it's very good for learning. So you, in that way, you can interact in a real situation with native speakers. And there are lots and lots of groups of people who are interested in sharing with you um, and, and exchanging languages uh, to learn. Tip number four is read, read and read. No matter if you're using new technologies or regular common books, paper books, reading is always good. You will build your vocabulary uh, by reading. Reading is one of the best activities that a language learner can, uh, can do. Okay, So read as much as possible. And the internet is also a good source for reading texts of all levels. Try to combine um, adapted texts, texts adapted to your level of Spanish, with uh, real texts. Okay, you can read uh, newspapers or websites of topics related to topics you are interested in, etc. But find your time to read from time to time and uh, you will soon see that your vocabulary is expanding. And finally, tip number five is play with grammar. And the word play is important here. It's not study grammar, it's play with grammar. If you make grammar the focus of or the center of the universe, you'll get bored very soon. Don't focus on grammar. Grammar will help you to uh, start making fewer mistakes. That's true. Uh, it will give you confidence. It will help you be a bit more fluent. But grammar must not be the center, the focus of your learning activity. You should concentrate on the oral uh, skills before going into uh, depth with grammar, okay? Grammar is a means, it's not an end. You're not going to be a linguist, you are going to be a language user, a Spanish speaker, okay? I hope these five tips will help you. Thank you for watching. Adios.